Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimakuCharts.com hourly analysis for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, January the 26th, 2011. Well, the market uh, continued the uptrend that it uh, closed on in the previous uh, final hour of trading and we had a candle making a higher high and a higher low. We actually had this candle gap up and that's created in uh, bar in candlestick terms what we call a window. Windows are areas uh, that provide uh, very strong support or resistance. In this case, if the market tests uh, uh, later on, uh, trending down from above, it will find uh, potential support within this area between the previous hour of the final hour of trading on the previous day and the opening hour of the uh, current day's trading. So that's a window there, very important in candlestick terms. Now, uh, the market continued to the upside in the second hour of trading and tested up around the 1300 level, that round number. And we can see that the sellers came in. And since that uh, uh, second hour of trading, we've had uh, quite a bit of indecisive type trading, one moderately bullish candle, green candle, a couple of red-bodied candles thrown in there. But each of these candles have... Uh, some shadows on the top of the candles representing downside price rejection from around this 1300 area, especially the final hour of trading. And the market got closest to 1300 in that final hour and was very strongly rejected when compared to some of the other uh, trading throughout the uh, day. The uh, shadows on the top of the candles represent the buyers losing commitment. So this isn't the way that we'd like to see the trend uh, continue to develop. But it's little wonder. 1,300 is a round number, so it's a very big number for this market. Now, with the final hour of trading, though, we still had the market trending up. So the candle made a higher high and a higher low. But we had a red body, which mean, means that the sellers made net bearish progress on the, uh, in that final hour between the open and the close. But they also closed the market down towards the low, which means that the sellers closed the market in control and they, uh, the buyers uh, lost the commitment that they had throughout the trading day. So very important. Now, we also have some support that we can see from these candles and we can see the shadows on the bottom of these candles representing the sellers losing commitment. So there was buying coming in around these levels and that's down around 12.94 roughly up to around 12.97. So if the market does uh, come off, uh, then we might uh, expect to see support down around these levels also at the 1293 level and down around here around the 1292, 1291 level where we had the window that was open and this previous area of strong resistance might actually uh, uh, turn into very strong support for this market. Now we are trading up above the cloud, so the market has an overall positive bias and we did have that successful bullish breakout in the previous hour of uh, final hour of trading, previous day's final hour of trading, a very bullish breakout it was and the market continued trending up. Uh, the market was also always going to find potential resistance at around this 1300 level. So an overall bullish bias for the market in the big picture terms. The market's also bullish because we're trading above the Kijinsen and Tenkinsen, and both of those indicators are pointing up, reflecting some sort of upside momentum, but not very steeply. So there's a moderate amount of upside uh, momentum in the market over the last few hours of trading. Now both of those indicators are actually at the same level. And we have a bullish indication when the Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen. So we actually have a neutral indication now in terms of um, the crossover of both of those indicators. So that there is a, a chance that we might see some sort of a pullback. But as we've said, there's very strong support down below all the way through down to 12.94, then down to 12.91 where we have the window. Up above, though, we have um, only a very well, a very strong resistance at 1300, but no strong resistance until we trade up to around 1313. So if the market does successfully break out with a bullish um, breakout up above 1300, then there's a strong likelihood that the market will trade up to 1313.